Very interesting. Thank you, John. Looked like a nice day down in Page, Arizona. <laughs> not so, I mean, it was nice, but yeah. cold. Very cold. Many spots. The coldest morning so far this season, but the sunshine a little deceiving today. Uh, yeah, the flowers, the pansies are still out, and the leaves that have fallen from the trees, the snow actually pushing some of those leaves to the ground. The wind as well yesterday. No wind today to speak of. Blue skies, beautiful weather, and a good night tonight. We asked a question in Live 5 Weather Trivia. Northern Utah on this date was hit by strong canyon winds that flipped over a semi in Centerville and caused extensive damage to several retail signs in Davis County. Was it 81, 91, or 2001? Did you guess 91? Yeah, 1991, we had those canyon winds. No winds to speak of in the Tusher Mountains today. Gary Walker shows us this beautiful photograph, the blue skies and cold weather. Yes, the snow on the ground freezing the, the river in uh, Utah's Central Mountains. This evening, I want you to pay close attention, not just to the sun setting, but the jets that whoosh, whoosh, through the sky. The sun goes over the Ochre Mountains. There's one, you can kind of see it, but as the sun sets, you get those nice orange colors. There's one, there's another one, there's another one, and here comes one right at us, right there. A beautiful sunset over the Ochre Mountains this evening. All right, the cold morning up in Montana, cold spot in the United States. Bannock was minus 10, but right behind the East Fork or the East Blacks Fork on the north side of the Uintas was minus 9. Lily Lake was minus 8. Stanley, Idaho, minus 7. Bright, minus 3. West Jordan, you were 15, and Holiday was 17 degrees. Some other reports, including Bountiful with 15. Eden had 14. Ely was 0. Evanston, you had 4 inches of snow late last night and early today. And Moab, 1.2 inches of snow as it was snowing on Color Country. Salt Lake City's morning low of 19, coldest so far this season, and the lake effect hitting Tooele with up to 8 inches in the bench areas near Tooele. Already down to 13 in Ely, 21 in Logan where there will be some patches of fog tonight, 28 Grand Junction, 27 in Blanding. Right now it is 40 in Great Falls. The Chinook winds are beginning to blow there as another storm system moves into the Pacific Northwest. A strong northerly wind flow with warmer air above the valleys now beginning those inversions tonight. So valley inversions mean a little bit of haze increasing tomorrow and Tuesday. Fortunately, we have a little storm system along the west coast that will brush by the area and keep the valley inversions from becoming a real problem. In Denver, Colorado, we had as much as a foot of snow today from the storm system that hit us yesterday. But with high pressure moving over Utah, a cold front approaching the west coast, clear skies both Monday and Tuesday. A couple of quiet days, but cold. 10 in Vernal tonight, 15 in Price, 48 for the high in Moab, 52 Lake Powell, lots of sunshine. In the Central Valleys, a very cold night tonight. In the San Pete and Severe Valleys, single digits. Again, single digits around Ely, 10 in Delta. Afternoon highs tomorrow in the 30s and 40s with 50s around St. George. On Tuesday, 61, Wednesday, 62. Looks like another storm. We kind of showed it to you on the West Coast. That'll be arriving late in the week, and so some clouds moving in, but no significant threat for precipitation. Another cold night tonight with patches of fog around Cache Valley. 35 for your high in Logan tomorrow. 36 in Park City. In Salt Lake City, 39, another 19 overnight low, 44 on Tuesday, 50 Wednesday, 49 on Thursday, and another storm Friday and Saturday. So kind of a roller coaster ride this week. Yeah. We like those storms. It keeps the inversions and the valley yeah. haze from increasing. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan, very much. Top to top.